mountains of eastern Tennessee. It was here in these majestic hills that tragedy has struck the motorsports world. On Thursday night at approximately 9.30 p.m., a fiery plane crash claimed the life of 38-year-old Wisconsin native Alan Kowicki, along with three key members of his racing team. 48-year-old Hooters race team pilot Charlie Campbell of Peachtree City, Georgia. The 44-year-old director of sports marketing for Hooters Dan Duncan of Taylor, South Carolina, and 26-year-old Mark Brooks of Atlanta, a driving force behind the success of this race team and son of Hooters CEO Robert Brooks. Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Punch, and we at ESPN would like to pass along our heartfelt sympathies to the families of those involved in this horrible tragedy. As part of the motorsports community, we too share your grief and together mourn the loss of our dear friends. Alan Kowicki epitomized the American dream. Eight years ago, he moved south from his native Wisconsin with little more than a pickup truck and a pocket full of dreams, but soon earned the respect and admiration of his peers. Through tireless effort and sacrifice, he convinced crew members, competitors, and eventually an entire country that he was a winner. In 1992, November, a little over five months ago, the ultimate underdog wrote the final chapter in his rags to riches journey as he captured the Winston Cup championship along with the hearts of millions of race fans around the world. Yes, Alan Kowicki is gone, but the legacy of his miraculous climb to the pinnacle of motorsports will stand as an inspiration to all for years to come. Who better to comment on the loss of a champion than our own two-time NASCAR champion, Ned Jarrett. Jerry Allen Kowicki has certainly left us with a tremendous amount of respect and inspiration. Inspiration for his fellow man and for a lot of race drivers. Many of the Bush Series drivers that we see racing today have been inspired by what they've seen Allen Kowicki accomplish over the years, going from the short tracks in the Midwest to becoming the Winston Cup champion. They feel that the same opportunities are there for them that was there for him. And it's tough to lose Allen, certainly, but it's comforting to know that he is leaving us with a legacy and an inspiration that will live on for many years to come and no doubt will have a profound effect on a lot of race drivers' careers, especially those who feel themselves as underdogs. Six years ago, I was just a little guy with a dream that moved down south with a, a pickup truck and a trailer. After running a few NASCAR races and dreaming about it for 10 years, I thought, well, maybe I was ready to take a stab at it. What Alan Kowicki did with that pickup trailer. One race car, two engines, and mostly volunteer pit crew, and some financial help from Quincy's, was win the 1986 Winston Cup Rookie of the Year. Alan spent the next four years building his team practically one wheel at a time. So it's no wonder that in 1991, when he had no sponsor, he didn't bail out and go drive for another team like he had offers to do. He stuck with it because he felt a certain responsibility to the people who had helped him build his team. Lo and behold, Hooters comes along and gives the team enough money to compete competitively. And Alan Kowicki and his team of underdogs winning the 1992 Winston Cup Championship will never be forgotten. I have been the underdog a lot of my career. You know, I didn't, I didn't start out choosing to do it this way. It just sort of happened. And I started my own team out of necessity. And when there weren't any other offers, just kept building it up and uh, got to the point where I just had too much invested in it emotionally and financially to give up on it and you know there's more things to life than just money and getting paid money to win races and drive cars and uh, there's you know the goal is to win races and and a championship and there's a lot of satisfaction in doing it this way and if uh, I've been an underdog or if I've been an example to uh, a lot of the little guys out there then I'm, I'm proud to fill that role. Uh, I hope that when 1993 is over, that uh, people at Winston, the people at NASCAR, and the competitors all look back and say, we were proud to have him represent us as our champion.